Hello everyone, welcome to Last Bench Listener. In this session, we are going to discuss about email security. Email, the term is most familiar to all. It's also known as electronic mail, email, and email. Electronic mail is a method of exchanging messages between people using electronic devices. We can also send non-text files like images, graphic images, sound files and so on. Email was one of the first use of internet for exchanging messages. It's still most popular use. Well, now we will discuss how it's work. From the view of average users, sending an email can seem a simple process. Write our message and address at respective places, then present. And if by magic, intent recipient would receive a message. Only if it was that easy in reality. Sending your message into communication cloud is an extremely difficult process. So we are going to discuss how does an email really work. Before the email can send to the center, must create an email in an email account such as Gmail, Yahoo or Hotmail and etc. which is known as their email user agent or MUA. Once compose the user process, send in the MUA, the user MUA send the email to MDA which is mail delivery agent. The MDA accepts to the email, then it reads it to the local mailbox. If the recipient is located on the local area network, however, if the email is to be sent on the wider area network and it's likely that the email will be forwarded to network cloud such as internet, this cloud may be used multiple mail servers, DNS services and routers in order to write the email to write it needs to be but due to this different transportation some transmissions can get lost or take longer than others creating delay in order to find this delays in transmission the email have to be probably encapsulated with domain name systems which known as dns ip address and sequence numbers so that the other mail transfers also known as mda in a network cloud are able to pause on the email in right direction also by having the dns it allows the email to pass through the firewalls and spam filters then same process will be done on the recipient side also which means our message after through the firewalls and filters then it reaches the recipient mail server then it's going to their cloud network after that it reaches the recipient MDA then it's going to recipient MUA then it reaches recipient so if our message or mail will be possible to redirect or hack by others. So currently message contents are not secure so we need to provide secure to our mails. Well how we can provide security to our mail? If you want to provide security to our mail then we should need to analyze possible attacks and production methods to our mail's content. Hackers will disclose our message content. So first we need to protect our messages from disclosure because our messages are very confidential that will be only known between uh, sender and receiver. So first security enhancement as protection from disclosure. Secondly possible to change our authentication detail like to change sender details if by chance to hack the messages. So we should keep authentication of sender of the messages. So we could protect from modification of original content. So we should need to keep message integrity by protect from our message from the modification. Also, we protect from denial by sender to keep non-reputation of the origin. Then what we will do to enhance this security methods to our mail? To most widely used security methods we can follow for email security, they are PGP stands for pretty good privacy and S and MIME. It stands for secure and multipurpose internet mail extension. We will discuss very detail about these two methods in this session.
Thank you for watching.